First at five, we continue following the officer involved shooting earlier this morning on Interstate 240, which has the officer in critical but stable condition. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. We are learning more tonight about 22 year old Geronimo Key, who is in custody in connection with that shooting. Our Alan Self spoke with a neighbor of one of the Key's relatives. And Alan, what is he saying? Stephanie and Greg, uh, neighbors in this Cordova neighborhood say they have seen a black uh, Nissan uh, as Geronimo Key frequently visits his grandparents. When we arrived to the address connected to Key, his grandmother answered the door. She told me she was just learning about the shooting and did not want to talk. According to Memphis PD, Key was pulled over for speeding this morning on 240 near South Parkway. They say he shot an officer four times. Daniel New lives next door to Key's grandmother. He says Key seems like a nice and quiet person. Yes, yeah, sometimes I saw him, you know, sometimes I saw him come kind of visit the parents and the grandparents. Uh, he, I think he, he drove a, a black Nissan or something. He's not a bad person, you know, from where I see, especially when I, you know, talk to my neighbors. I know them pretty well. Key was taken into custody about a mile from where the shooting happened. That Nissan was found on Dempster Street in South Memphis with a smashed window. Police say that indicates gunfire hit the vehicle. What you mentioned just now he involved in a police shooting is kind of sad, especially now that nowadays there's a lot, a lot of crime going on. We looked into Key's background. Nothing shows up in Shelby County Adult Court. But in Fayette County, Key was one of the 11 charged in a disturbance at Wilder Youth Development Center when he was 18 years old. He faced a charge of vandalism, escaping custody of an officer, and enticing a riot after a disturbance. Authorities say several housing pods were damaged in the incident, and cinder blocks were used to break windows, doors, security mirrors, and security cameras. We asked Shelby County Juvenile Court what landed him in Wilder, but under state law, there wasn't any information they could release. He has not been charged yet in today's shooting. Police say he has injured his hand, but they're not sure if it was from gunfire. Uh, the officer is in critical but stable condition. In Cordova, Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.